Hi everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We are the RC Sailors, and all this week we are doing Banggood quads. And they're all pretty cheap too. Today's is going to be a $20 quadcopter. This is the GW009C quadcopter yeah. with a camera. It's a global drone. Uh, if you want to check it out for yourself, we'll have it linked for you in the description box below. The cool thing about this little box is that it's like a book. The, yeah, a little door that opens so you can see everything uh, before you even I unbox like it. So check that out. That's pretty cool. A quick reminder to you guys, we uh, started a vlog channel about a week ago. So if you want to see our trip to the Bahamas and some other really cool fun stuff, be sure to go over and check that out. I'll have it linked for you here where the card pops up. If you want to enter to win a free RC t-shirt, make sure you go over to our vlog channel, subscribe, and leave a comment on any video. Any video. A lot of you guys are subscribing but not commenting, so make sure you comment too. Yeah. Okay, got it out, kind of. It's like in a box and a box and a box. You know what? I know that people, you say people don't like to know about the box, but I I like boxes, and that's a very nice, that's a nice box. Whatever, that's... I, I like it. For $20, the the display, the way they send it to you means a lot to me. I like that. But you don't care. Screwdriver, four spare props, four prop guards, charger. I like that this is such a tiny little quad that came with prop guards. That's pretty outstanding. These things feel like... Um, I mean, they feel like lighter than air. They're super tiny. You might not even be able to see that on the camera. That is so small. Uh, there's the quad itself. That feels really neat, doesn't it? It has That's... that kind of rubbery texture to it. Yeah. I like it a lot. And the transmitter is looking pretty good. We've got... Looks like they put the trims on top. The top buttons are trims. That's kind of funny. And your video and camera and flips and Neat. flight modes are the buttons down here on the bottom. So a bit reversed, but I don't see why that wouldn't work. And the reason they give you a screwdriver is so you can take the little screw off the back panel of your transmitter. So that's everything that comes in the box. It does not, I was trying to see what the camera, what I was trying to see what the camera quality was, but I can't find that. There is the camera. No SD card in the slot. So we'll need to get a micro SD card, but that's cool that it has camera. Yeah. Let's take to the skies and get this thing flying. Let's go. This takes four AAA batteries in the transmitter. And let's see if we can get the bind process right. Now I'm going to try turning this on first. And then the transmitter. Travel up, down, and we're good. So that's the quad on first for this guy. It's got pretty good looking blue lights on the front, red lights on the back, just like yesterday's quad. Uh, but this is kind of like a matte black rubbery finish to it. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna try to record here and see if we can get some camera quality. It doesn't look like there's any indicator on the quad or the transmitter for while it's recording, but that's okay as long as you remember what you hit. I didn't really need to trim this out of the box either. And it's got really good flight functionality. The control sticks on the transmitter feel pretty good. And hopefully that's recording. I formatted the card that I put in there before I put it in. And it's worked on other quads. Oh, it's lot. cold. <laughs> cold air. So hopefully that's filming Abby a little bit. Okay, let's play around with it some and see if we can... There's full y'all in this rate, and I'll give it kind of some faster flight. Okay, now let's um, let's try a flip here. There's a flip button. That's wow. not a bad flip. It was a little sloppy. That's all right. Okay. Um, I will stop recording in hopes that that worked and saved to the card. Now let's hit FS. So now I'm at a higher rate. Y'all is pretty slow still on that, but my pitch is much, much faster. Uh, let's go with, there's the highest rate. So let's see what we got here. The y'all feels about the same on that. So that's kind of disappointing. But the pitch is way steeper. Y'all feels the same. Let's try it. Here's full y'all. And there's the 
first rate. So the yaw is the same in all of those modes. I don't really like that because it, it needs, I think it needs to scale with the pitch, but I guess I like flying this one in the first mode more than any others because I feel like I have more control over it. And it flies really well in this rate. Uh, let's see. Should be able to take pictures. I'll try that one. Let's try to take a picture of Abby. That might have gotten one. Let's try again. You know what? I just noticed a tiny little light indicator on the top of this sky. I believe when I take a picture, it lights up red for about a second. And then maybe with video, the light stays on. Okay, so hopefully Where's that's the working. Light? There's a tiny little light there on the top of the quad. Can you see that? Right by the name? Yep. That is your indicator for pictures and video. So according to this, it's working. Uh, and hopefully you guys have something to check out there. I'm just gonna keep flying it around, having some fun with it. Maybe we'll chase down here with Popeye some. If it's recording video, we'll get a shot of Popeye. Okay, Popeye, go get it! It's quadcopter. He no, just... we're not. <laughs> He's hiding. Ooh. There he goes. He's just ready to play. <laughs> Maybe not. So this is a fun little quad to, if the camera works nicely on it, I think this would be a good micro, kind of like a spy cam quad. That's what I feel like when I'm flying it, because it's black and it's kind of stealthy. It flies really smooth on the low rates. I do need to trim it though, let's try... The trim buttons are up top, which is odd, but it's drifting to the right, so I want it to go left. Hit that a couple times. And it's still going right, so it's, now it's going forward, so let's hit back. I've got it trimmed up a lot better now. I, I wish that the function buttons were up top, not the trim, but it still feels really good to fly. I feel like I gotta retrim that again there. It's kind of odd. I feel like I'm having to continuously retrim this. Maybe I just didn't get it good enough the first time. Maybe it's doing opposites of what I want it to do. That's what it's acting like. No. <laughs> Come on, Nathan. I'm just trying to trim it up. I just like it to be, I like to be able to go hands-free and it fly really well, you know? It just needed more clicks than what I was giving it because now it's flying really well. Okay. Oh, Whoa. Wow, I clipped the couch. Really well, huh? <laughs> it is flying just fine. I just clipped the couch while I was trying to trim it up. Oh, hold on. I you broke have, it. I should have sat down. I should have sat down. <laughs> we'll stop the video. Okay, the light turned off, so that's good. Alright, we're back in action. What do you think, buddy? You're getting it now, aren't you? Okay, I couldn't see it. <laughs> 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 It's a pretty long flight time too, isn't it? Uh, six minutes since I turned the camera on. Wow. Yeah, that's good for a little guy like this. It's just a nice, see that hover? Rock solid. It's doing really well for a little one. You flew yesterday's an awful lot. Is that why you're letting me fly this one so much? Yes. And you just look so good. People just like looking at you. <laughs> oh gosh, don't get me. I'm not getting you. <laughs> Making me cold. <laughs> I trust you an awful lot. <laughs> hey, I trust you an awful lot too. <laughs> There's our low light. You see that? The blinking? Yeah. So, you get your blinking light when it's low. Now, I know we mentioned the price of this guy in the unboxing part of this video, but prices change a lot on these so i encourage you to check it out for yourself 
if you're interested in this little guy. It's about $20, but you can check it out in the link in the description box below. I like this. I hope the video turned out for something that's that price point. It even has an on-off switch on the side. This was a lot of fun. Remember, you'll need four AAA batteries and a micro SD card of your own to get this in the air fully functioning. Worked just fine right out of the box. What do you think? Do you like it? It looked like it did its job very, very well. I think so too. What do you think, Popeye? Yeah, you started to play a little bit there, didn't you? Popeye's so much better at reviews than we are. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We're going to charge this up again and get it in the air. See you in the next video. Bye!